Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about scripting short form videos. I recently got a couple of DMs from people asking me to talk about this, and I had this document ready to go, so let's get into it. All right. So, why are we going to script our videos for short form content? Number one, it gives us a clear, straightforward structure to follow. Number two, the scripts can be used as a copy and paste template that you can then repurpose for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Simply copy and paste your scripts. Having a script will help you avoid going off on a random tangent. Um, in the scripts, you can put in different wording and hooks, then fill in them, and in the edit, you can see what you feel is best. And then overall, you save time and stress while filming. How do I move across? Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> so, I have a couple of different scripting structures that I give my clients and that we use in my business. Each one has a different, uh, a different reason and a different purpose when you use it. So I'm going to show you a couple of these. This thing's kind of complicated. So, the basic most... A uh, normal scripting structure would look something like this. So you would have your hook to grab people's attention, then the explanation of what you're talking about, a conclusion going over what you just talked about, and a call to action, which normally would be follow for more. So that's the basic one. But if you're scripting for conversions and you want to book more calls, you want to get more clients, this is one that I've found always worked well for me and and uh, and it does work pretty well so scripting for conversions a great a great a great way to book more meetings or get more conversions on your content is by framing your service or product as the solution to the problem uh, stated in the hook instead of giving a general solution or problem uh, stated so you have the hook, which is the audience's problem, what you help them with, what they struggle with. You can elaborate on their problem and, and really feel, they will really feel like you're talking to them. Then, instead of giving a solution and saying, oh, if you want to lose weight, hop on the treadmill for more. You would say something, if you want to lose weight, this is exactly what I teach, so book a call today. It's something like that. So the, you'd, the solution would be offering your product or service as the solution. Run through your main benefits, uh, USPs, and show, I, I think, I'm not sure what I meant by USPs there, or if I meant KPIs, or show previous client results and testimonials, things like that, so they will build trust. They will know that you have done this in the past, and you're solving their problem, and you've done it for other people. Then the call to action. Um, it's impossible to get across everything in this video, so... Book a call if you want to learn more. Or book a call if you think this would be of value to you. If you're really making it engaging and, and, and they feel like you're speaking to them, then when you tell them to book a call, they will. So, scripting to build trust and authority. So, this is another way I like to just build trust with existing followers. Because a lot of the times people will follow you. They won't necessarily book a call. So... Hook, you're going to tell a, a problem or story. Show case studies and previous results. Um, maybe how you've helped someone. I made a video before about how I took one client from zero to four million views. And, and it was a good way of sneaking case studies and previous results in there. So, um, yeah, show your previous results, who you've helped, um, all that. And then lesson learned, problem solved, call to action, optional in there. Because you're just building trust with them. Showing that you know your stuff. Okay. Now, scripting to gain followers. This is an interesting one. So if your goal is to gain more followers, it can be a good idea to have the call to action near to the start of the video. As that is when the viewer retention is at its peak. Many people scroll away before the video ends, so having your call to action follow for more, if this gives you value, will convert more people to followers. It would look something like this. So you would have your hook first, your hook would be around this area, your call to action, 
Hey guys, um, no, no, it would be something. If you want to lose weight, listen to these three steps. And also, if this video gives you some value, then follow for more. So you'd be putting your call to action not at the end anymore, but at the very uh, start here, just after your engaging hook. So, and then you'd say story or solving their problem, just elaborating on it. And then at the end, the problem solved or lesson learned. Because this is what a normal retention graph looks like. Most people start up here good, not a lot of people finish. So when your call to action is down here, you're only getting, on this one anyway, less than 25% people, of people seeing your call to action. Up here, you're getting over 50% of people seeing your call to action. So it should turn into more followers. Okay. Let me go small up here in the corner. Other things to keep in mind when you're scripting. So power words. Power words are words that smart copywriters use to trigger a psychological or, or emotional response. They're called power words because they are so persuasive that people simply can't being resist, uh, resist being influenced by them. So a power word would be something like success or or um, fear or something along those lines that will grab somebody's attention do you fear this do you or or terrify you could use fear which some people might use or you could use terrify which just brings out that more emotional response in people you could use happy my client was happy or you could use my client was enthusiastic um after something like that next anticipation uh keeping people to stick around till the end will increase watch time which in turn will push uh, your videos to a wider audience the longer you can keep someone watching your videos the better they will uh perform don't give away the punchline or the solution at the start if p um if you do people will sim simply scroll off your video um, examples of how you can script to keep people watching. So, the last reason will shock you. Trying to keep them around to hear the last reason. Stick around till the end to see whatever, something, whatever they want to see, so they stick around. Um, for this one, if you have three steps, um, these are three tips to do X. You could use the first two steps, but without the third, you will fail. So just getting them to stick around to, uh, and, and increase that watch time. Overall, scripting is an important part of your videos. I personally script out everything for my videos, but I know some of my clients only script an engaging hook and go through the rest of the video off the, off the top of their heads. Um, they can do this because they know what they're talking about. They've been there, done that. After a while of scripting, you will learn the different scripting structures and may not even have to script them in detail anymore. So that's a little bit about scripting your short form videos. And yep, if you enjoyed that, then make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram and yeah, and thanks a lot. I'll see you later.